Could EROC be adding a bigger map to their game huh? in the summer update? I will explain that in this video, but first, I want to know what you guys think. Will EROC be adding a bigger map or a new map in the summer update? First, if this video gets to 500 likes, we will be doing a 100 Robux giveaway, so be sure to like the video. So as a lot of you guys know, EROC added new vehicle tuning in their latest update. They have removed this though because of uh, community feedback. So if you can see, this car used to go 300 miles per hour, and then now it just goes back to its regular speed of 162 and then also on all other vehicles uh the speed and the turning and acceleration and stuff was all changed back to what it was Bruh. before the update so there was a lot of community feedback bad about this because cars were going 300 miles per hour and then some cars were going 10 miles per hour the acceleration on some cars zero to 60 was like 10 seconds it was terrible and complete madness so that is why ERLC removed this but I feel like this update was not just for nothing. They didn't want to just like play around with us and be like, hey, look at the new vehicle speeds. They were actually doing this for a reason. Huh? So this is just my opinion. And I think that they were actually doing this to test out the new vehicle speeds for the summer update. Oh my God. So as we know, in a lot of other roleplay games like Greenville and Southwest Florida, they have huge maps compared to ERLC. Like, to go across the ERLC map, map, if I went on Riverside Drive, it would take me, like, probably 10 seconds. 2,000 years later. To go from one side to the other. And that is, like, the uh, widest area of the map. So, if it's just 10 seconds to go across the entire map, then uh, that's a pretty small map. But this map is very detailed. So, comparing ERLC to Greenville and Southwest Florida, they're really good at everything. They're better at everything with Greenville and Southwest Florida. Besides for the map, like their map is very small, uh, it's very easy to like uh, see people again, which is kind of nice for role plays and stuff, like the streets are pretty busy, but uh, not very good because then the game might get boring after a while. So I feel like in the summer update, they were trying to add a bigger map, and I feel like they probably are going to do this. So they, they want to compete with Greenville and Southwest Florida. They Ultimately, one of those games wants to come out on top. They all want to be better than each other. And ERLC adding a bigger map would attract a lot more players to just drive around the map, stay in the game for longer, and yeah, that's just what ERLC wants to do. So I'm sure we all saw this map concept last year. Whenever ERLC was telling us that we were going to get a bigger map, we all saw this map concept, and this one went viral. So ultimately, we can clearly see that is not what the map turned out to be at all. But this map is way bigger than the map is in EROC right now. So I feel like some things they could definitely expand on. Like making this highway right here go around the entirety of the map. Making that just slightly bigger. Maybe adding a beach or another town, more housing or something, right up here. So that area is the only place in the ERLC map where it feels like lonely. Like whenever you're driving on Highway 55, you see that lake and then you turn over here and then there's just nothing there. Maybe a little like gas station right here or something. They do not have enough gas stations in the game is one thing. There's only three gas stations. There's one right there, there's one right there, and there's one right there. So maybe adding one right here or something or adding more gas stations on the side of the road. I don't know, I'm just going off of random stuff now. On the fire department, people have made so many beach rescue things, and then we have this lake over here, but the problem is it's not very functioning, like there's no sand leading up to it. Because like even in places like very mountainous areas like Colorado, there are literal like beaches that they made where it's like sand, it's like big lakes, and then you can just go swim in it, they have the water maintained, you can drive your boats on it, you can do whatever you want. So like maybe that they could add that over here or renovate that lake back over there. This is the lake that I'm talking about in case you didn't realize. But One thing, though, about that big map that I was just talking about is that it could ruin ERLC. Come again! The ERLC has amazing graphics right now compared to all other games and amazing role plays and stuff like that. So if they did expand the map a lot, I would expect the quality of the game to be way down, role plays way down. Uh, since they can't increase the server size as much, uh, you wouldn't really run into people as much. So I feel like this would actually ruin ERLC. <laughs> So that is really all that I have, so be sure to like and subscribe, share your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.